Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Romine and today I want to share with you two home run stocks that are crushing it and great long-term plays. In the last five days, these stocks are up 13 and 16 percent and if you bought these when I did, you were already up 23 and 57 percent. And the best part is it's not too late for you because these two stocks can still be home runs for you too. If you want the same results as me, then just stick with me to the end and I'll give you a trading plan for how to play these two stocks. Let's kick off the day with two success stories. Kalen Smith said, Jerry, I wanted to say a massive thank you. Been on Discord for six days and my portfolio was up 18%. I paid for my subscription five times over. I started completely new and the education part of your Discord is perfect. I don't talk about this enough, but we have a channel dedicated to education for investors of all levels and we quickly bring you up to speed with several ways to make money. And our second success story is from Steven. Jerry, thanks for your channel. It's awesome. I'm 17 years old and thrilled that I am up 47% on ARKQ in just over four months. Thank you. I enjoy the stock analysis. Steven's success story means a lot to me because we've got this young man pointed down the right path. Just think of where Steven will be when he's 30 years old. And if I've helped you out in any way, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. If you are new to my channel, check out my Patreon when you get a chance. We have daily hot stock picks, trade alerts, growth portfolios, thousands of people talking stocks and helping each other, and you get the beast mode spreadsheets to make picking stocks easy. So grab a cup of coffee and hang on because I'm about to give you two home run stocks that you can knock out of the park. And today it's a small cup of coffee because I'm already on my third cup because we had an awesome kick butt Q&A for diamonds earlier this morning. All right, we're now looking at the beast mode stock analysis scorecard, and this is kind of like technical analysis on crack. And if you want the full beast mode analysis, it's available in my Patreon. And then in just a second, we're going to look at the chart here. So for the beast mode scorecard, let's look at a few things. We've got Glaucos Corporation. The ticker is GKOS. The current price is $86.71. The 52-week price range is $23 to $88. We've got an estimated intrinsic value and an analyst target mean price. And we can see that the current price is well above both of those. And I'll cover this trade in just a little more detail in a second. Next, we've got our PE ratio and it is negative 53. So this is what I call a growth stock. And I would technical trade this stock because the PE ratio is not between one and 100. Now let's take, out, take a look at the year-to-date stock gain, it's up 15%. Over one week, it's up 11%. Over one month, 22%. Three months, 58%. And one year, it's up 50%. Our tattle ratio is 2.99, and that's the total assets versus the total liabilities. So this just means they've got three times the assets compared to the liabilities. And their revenue growth last year was negative 3.4%. Their revenue growth this year is going to be negative 7.4%. That's the forecast. Their net income margin is negative 33.7%. 6%. Their levered free cash flow is negative 20.1%. So let's go over what we can learn about this stock. We can see that they've got a negative PE ratio. We can see that all of their fundamentals right here are not looking very good. They're not making money and their net income margin is bad and their revenue growth was bad last year and it's bad next year. So what type of an investment or trade is this for me? This would be one of the investments that is strictly based on technical analysis and that is the chart. Now most of the stocks that I buy are normally going to be positive PE stocks and they're going to have very good fundamentals. This is one that does not, but it's performing very well for me. And when we look at the charts, you'll see why. So now we're going to come over here at the charts. And the first thing we notice is, check this out. This is what I call the railroad tracks. And that's because it kind of looks like a railroad track. This is the 20-day moving average. We've got the 50-day moving average and the stock is commonly trading just above that 20-day moving average. It goes up, it touches it, it goes up, it touches it, it goes up, touches, and the the process repeats. And this is what I call too much too fast. It's broken away from that 20 day moving average. And I wouldn't be surprised at all for the stock to consolidate and go sideways like it did here to come back to that moving average, or it could possibly go down in a faster path and get there. The other thing we can notice is that um, I bought 29 shares at $70.16. I have not owned this stock very long. It's already up nicely. And I have a trail stop in at 8% on this stock. So that's basically our first stock. It's going very well. I'm up nicely and this is a technical trade. And when you look at this, is this a train that I want to get on? Absolutely. Very simple, nice looking train. Choo-choo, I'm on it.
Now our second stock today is True Leaf Cannabis, and check this out for the Beast Mode Stock Analysis Scorecard. We've got false right here. That's a typo. It really should say True Leaf Cannabis, so I'll fix that in my master soon. Our ticker symbol is TCNNF. We've got the current price is $45.23. The 52-week range is $6 to $49. The analyst target mean price is currently higher at $49.21, so that's a plus for us. The PE ratio is 77.1, and again, this is one of the few cannabis stocks that actually has a positive P.E. ratio, which means they are making money. The year-to-date stock gain is 43%, which isn't too bad since we're only two weeks into the new year. The return over one week is 13%, over one month, 47%. Three months, 109%, and one year, 332%. That is absolutely insane. Our tattle ratio is strong at 2.06. And check this out. These are some good fundamentals for us to look at right here. Our revenue growth last year was 107%. Our revenue growth forecast for this year is going to be an additional 103.9%. Their net income margin is very nice at 16.4%. And now let's jump over to the chart. We can see that I've got a fair number of shares on this. I've got 100 shares at 2871. I have 45 shares at 3184. If you look at the charts, you can see I got in at a nice position. And my most recent one at 3184 was a breakout play and boom goes the dynamite. This baby just shot straight up, looking great. It hit an all-time high yesterday of 4898 and it pulled back. And this is a result of what I call too much too fast. It's most likely going to go sideways for a while with what's called consolidation, just like it did here to get back to that blue line, or it could take a dip and get there faster. And what else have we got on this stock? Um, all I can tell you is this stock is going to do great things this year based on everything that I've studied. And this is one that I've studied very hard. I'm very big on this. It's got great fundamentals. And I think this can definitely be a home run for you. And I'll go over those different plays later in this video. Our question of the day is, should I buy a stock I have never even heard of like Glaucos Corporation? So many people limit themselves by focusing on big name stocks. We live in the internet age and within 10 minutes, you can learn so much about a stock that it isn't even funny. In this case, Glaucos is a medical technology and pharmaceutical company that focuses on therapies to treat glaucoma, corneal disorders, and retina diseases. The market cap or total value of this company is $3.9 billion and the average daily volume is 487,000 shares. To put this in perspective, I bought 20 29 shares, and with this much market cap and trading volume, my 29 shares are like a drop in the ocean for this stock. What I'm trying to say is that stocks like these have no more risk than big name stocks like Amazon or Facebook and are often much less volatile. I'm more than happy to get rich with quiet stocks like these that nobody has ever even heard of. Let's go over a trading plan for these two stocks. For Glaucos, it has been running hot and you have three entry points. The number one entry point is the high risk option is to buy it now if you absolutely cannot wait. It's trading on higher volume and appears to be in a breakout. Second, the medium risk option is to buy it on any pullback and after it starts trading back up. This is not a bad plan for a stock like this that is up 60% in three months and 120% in six months. And third, the optimal entry point is to buy GKOS on a pullback to the 20 day moving average and confirmation of the stock moving back up. For the optimal entry point, you have to be patient because it could take weeks for that optimal entry to appear. For most investors, I recommend the medium risk option. For our second stock, True Leaf Cannabis, this is currently one of my favorite stocks and I am up 57% in a short time frame. True Leaf Cannabis is one of the few profitable MJ stocks and with the decriminalization likely for MJ stocks, this stock could be a two or three X stock this year. In the last year, this stock is up 333%, so it's already performing at that level. Yesterday, True Leaf hit a new high and then closed down 1% and this stock has gone up too much too fast and I would expect a pullback or consolidation. Your high risk play is to buy it now and I recommend waiting for the medium risk play where you want to buy on a pullback and confirmation that the stock is moving back up. Now let's address the elephant in the room for some of you. I know some of you are thinking that these stocks just hit their all-time highs and everybody knows you're supposed to buy stocks on the dips. To those of you thinking this, look at the charts very carefully and you will see you could have said the same thing about the stocks being at or near their all-time highs for the last four months. So while you're trying to buy beaten down dogs in a bull market, I'm making bank buying stocks that are reaching their highs over and over again for the last four months. My Roth IRA portfolio that I share online is up 80% in four months by following what I call beast mode analysis. I'm not going to argue with you when the results speak for themselves. Just remember that you always want to do your own research and draw your own conclusions. For the long term, I feel really good about these stocks and I'm hitting home runs like this every week and I invite you to join me. Thanks for hanging out with me and be sure to take advantage of the free Webull stocks offer and check out my Patreon. We've got daily hot stock picks, trade alerts, a shared high growth portfolio, and thousands of people talking stocks and helping each other in our community every single day. Peace. I'm out of here.